So today I'm in Burbank, California, currently walking down Hollywood Way, right next to the former site of the Warner Brothers Ranch. And I've actually been out here a few times in the last couple of months doing videos on the Warner Brothers Ranch. So I know what you might be thinking, but don't worry, I'm not gonna make a habit out of coming here and just filming an empty lot. Uh, but there are a couple of more movies that were filmed here at the Warner Brothers Ranch that I wanna cover. So I'll probably be out here at least a few more times, but today, we're not talking about any of those movies. We're actually here to talk about a music video that was filmed here, a Cyndi Lauper music video for the song Goonies Are Good Enough. And it was actually filmed right here on the other side of this fence. And uh, this is one that I've been wanting to do a video on for a while. And so today, using some footage that I took uh, just a few days before the ranch was torn down, mixed with some maps and pictures, uh, we're going to try and cover that music video. So, if you're ready, let's go see what we can find, or what I found, you know what I mean. So like I already mentioned, the video was filmed right here on the other side of this fence. It was filmed at the gas station set. And this set is famous for uh, Gremlins, Monster Squad. I guess it was also used in the TV show, The Middle. It's been used in a lot of different stuff, but I was always most excited about it because of the Cyndi Lauper music video. And I always wanted to get in here and show where this video was filmed. I think because no one else was really talking about it. I know other people knew about it, but no one was really talking about the Cyndi Lauper music video that was filmed here. Now, unfortunately, I never did get on the property to show it, but I do have some footage that we're gonna use. And if you've never seen the music video, let me give you a quick breakdown of it before we get started. So basically, Cindy and her family own and operate a gas station that also sells veggie burgers and cookies. And I guess the gas station isn't doing too good and Cindy and her family are inside talking when they hear a car pull up and they say to themselves, Customer! Now they go outside and they see a limo and out of that limo gets Roddy Roddy Piper, Iron Sheik, and some other wrestlers. And it turns out that they are there to take over the gas station because Cindy and her family can't pay for it anymore. So they're gonna be taking it away from them and there's some arguing going on and this all makes a lot of sense because Cindy's dad is Captain Lou. And so after some arguing between Cindy and the wrestlers and her family and Rowdy Rowdy Piper admiring Cindy's mom's cookies. Uh, cookies. <laughs> now why don't you take your face back inside there? Uh, they go inside and they start packing their bags and when Cindy removes a painting off the wall, she finds an entrance into a secret cave which really doesn't make a lot of sense because it doesn't look like there's anything around the gas station. There's no mountains or anything where that cave might be. So I guess that's actually some kind of a portal into another dimension. I, I don't know. But of course, without thinking twice, Cindy goes right through the hole into the cave. And that's where she meets up with the Goonies who are conveniently wearing t-shirts that spell out the Goonies. And I guess they're friends, even though Cindy's in her 30s and the kids are like 12 years old, but whatever. They start helping Cindy along this journey to find some rich stuff so she can save her family's gas station. Now, if you watch the making of the music video, you'll see that they did actually film inside of the gas station set. They built some fake walls in here, and that's where they put the hole leading into the cave. 
So like I mentioned, Cindy finds the hole, she climbs right in, and then once she's inside of the cave, that's when she meets up with the Goonies and they help her go on a little adventure. Now all of this was filmed inside of a soundstage and they actually used a lot of the same sets from the movie, especially this one. And you also see the pirate ship in part two of the music video. Now the entire music video is just a little over 12 minutes long, but they split it into two parts. The first part aired before the movie came out, and then the second part came out after the movie was released. Now as I already mentioned, this music video features the pirate ship from the movie, but it also features the infamous octopus that was cut from the movie and can only be found in the deleted scenes. Also, this video not only features appearances by the WWF stars and cast members of the Goonies, it also features appearances from Cyndi Lauper's real life mom, her manager David Wolf, a brief cameo from Steven Spielberg, and the Bengals playing the female pirates which I actually just found out about recently. So Cindy and her friends escape from the pirates and make it back to the gas station, but when she tries to save the gas station using the jewels that she found, they won't accept the jewels. So what other choice does she have? She summons Andre the Giant, and he saves the day. It really blows my mind to think that right here in this spot is where Andre the Giant was holding Cyndi Lauper. And now it's gone forever. I just can't believe it. Well, so there you have it. The filming locations for Cyndi Lauper's The Goonies Are Good Enough. And I am so sad that that gas station is no longer here for me to actually get onto the lot and show it to you. I mean. The Warner Brothers Ranch was always closed to the public, but at least when it was still here, there was always the chance that someone might get me onto the lot so I could show it to you in person. But now that everything's been demolished, that's it. There's no more chances. Everything is gone. It's done forever. And it's just really sad. But I'm glad that I was able to talk about this music video today. But like I said, I'm really sad that it's not actually here in real life anymore. All right, that's gonna do it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.